nice round edge on the seats here. So I'm using this boy again. I've got to put in the supports for the rowing thwarts and any thwart chip seats or anything I decide to put in there. They are the same size as the cleat stock, 20 by 30 millimeters, and they run just under the lip of the seats here all the way along on both sides. And it will allow you to place a rowing thwart here so you can sit on while you're rowing. And potentially I'm also going to use it to create a little floor here so that when I go camping in the boat, I can sort of lay some planks down and have this entire space where a mattress can go on there. So I don't have any cleat stock left, but I do have these two big long planks here that I was going to use for the boom and the yard. So I'm going to rip some 20 by 30 out of them and uh, they'll, they'll do their duty. 198, I'll just call it 230. That'll give me a little bit extra to do these things. Cut a little bit oversized, 24, 35. Just be a little bit beefier. So I came up with this plan here for how I'm gonna clamp things because I didn't put these rails on before the seat tops were installed, which probably would have been a good idea. Had I done that, I would have been easily able to put clamps, you know, behind here, because this wasn't on there, and I could have just sort of clamped it all and it would have all been good. But I have nowhere to clamp things. And it's important that it stays 18 millimeters under this slip, because otherwise it'll be uneven and... So here's what we got. This is the view from the side. This is the seat tops here, and these are the seat longitudinals. So I'll have a long bit of wood going all the way from this side up to there. And I'll put a bunch of heavy stuff on top of it, see? Heavy. That'll overhang the edge of the seat top a little bit. And I'll have 18 millimeter spaces here. And so the clamp will clamp underneath the support and have the uh, little 18 millimeter spacer. And then on top of this plank that I put on the seats. So that'll give it clamping force this way. In order to have clamping force this way, I haven't really shown it. But what I think I'll do is just make up some little bits of wood that go from you know that side to the other and wedge them in with little wedges, just to give it a little bit of force that way. And I think that ought to do it. Well, I got all this particle board left over from the building jig, so... Something like that. Should be more or less a good fit, I think. Convenient 18 mil thick piece of plywood left over from the rudder. And here is a simulation of how it will work. Wedges, so they're pushing hard this way. Then I got my 18 mil spaces to make sure it's 18 millimeters below the level of the seat top. So I can use nice 18 millimeter ply for the thwarts and things like that. And I've got this plank, which is sort of sitting on the seat top and it's held down by, by these batteries. And that's uh, giving it the weight for it not to move. And I think that'll just about do it. Put a few more lateral squeezes on there for extra squeeziness. Didn't mention it because it might not be relevant to your interests, but uh, I put clear sticky tape on the backs and bottoms of these spaces so they wouldn't get epoxied to anything just so you know
I need to plan it to dimension. But that'll go in there more or less. So I gotta attach this piece here that goes down into the centerboard case with this piece here, which is the lid. So that sort of goes on more or less like that. In order to get the alignment perfect, I'll use Lazy Boy, strike a line, draw it on that piece, then pop this on, draw the same line. I should be able to take them out and uh, make them together. Well, after doing all that laser malarkey, I thought of a much easier solution. Just a couple of these little boys. I might sand it uh, so it's not quite as tight because that's a pain in the ass to get out right now. Oh yeah, that's smooth. That was kind of a pain in the ass to shape. It's like two different compound angles. And it mm, fits more or less still. It doesn't quite fit up there, but I'll clamp it and force it and fill in that little gap. I've drawn outlines of all the seats so I can get the backing plates for them. Backing plates. Hopefully that worked. I get it out of the hole. Still taped down. Well, the hatches seem to fit pretty well. Can't get them out because they don't have fingernails. 